what to put in one's mind's eye to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Horn Austin here. So it's supposed to be an eye with a little heart with a little transformation symbol inside of the pupil to demonstrate that there's something we want to intentionally put into people that are interact with our businesses mind in order to supersize and grow our business. Number one, what is that thing? Number two, how do we do that? How do we install that in people's minds so that they think of us and want to be involved with our organization? What the heck does in one's mind's eye even mean? It's from the 15th century and it means to visualize, to have a vision of something, to imagine in our mind ahead of time what it is that we want to create. Visualization's been around for for thousands of years and continues to be. I realized my granddaughter actually was learning visualization and how to use and tap into their imagination in kindergarten last year. And I, I wish that we had figured that out and learned when we were in school. I don't think it was till my late 20s that I realized that visualization was even a thing. Maybe I was a late bloomer. So how do we put something into the mind's eye and into the imagination of the people that we interact with because we want to do it for everyone that we interact with. First, we have to imagine in our own mind and visualize what it is that we're trying to create as we build and grow and supersize our business. What are we creating? What is our vision? And once we clearly understand that vision, we need to share it with everyone that we interact with within our organization that we partner with so that we all have the same picture of where we're going as an organization. We also want to install in people's minds how they will feel being a part of creating that if there are partners or employees etc how are they going to feel what what are they going to get how are they going to benefit we want to paint the picture for them of that we want to do the same thing with our customers although we want to paint the picture for our customers of how they're going to feel after they've used our products or services the transformation that it gives them the problem that it solves for them we want them to go on a journey with us and feel how it feels to have solved the problem that they have that that our our product or service solves for them so we want to be able to paint the picture through stories through our marketing through materials through our branding through our colors through our messages that we put out into the world we want to paint and future pace that story that picture and plant that in the mind's eye through identity and through um, all kinds of different things that we can use in marketing and, and building our business but we want to paint that future paced picture for everyone that's involved in our organization including us it starts with us right so I'm curious how has vision and picturing things and picturing where you are wanting your business to go how is that working in your business how has that served your business um, how is it impacting the results that you're getting as you move toward that vision and has the vision of the business that you're supersizing and growing changed since you first started your business I would love to hear some stories about that I think that's our idiom our expression for today our mindset mental well-being related idiom for the month of March tomorrow we'll probably have something with respect to visual not visualization visualization is the topic for the challenge today tomorrow's imagination so maybe something about imagination which to me imagination and visualization are very closely connected and linked all right have an awesome day any questions if I can help you anyway hit me up otherwise I'll be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom where does it come from what does it mean and how might you use it to grow and supersize your business right now take care